Today, I have this Nintendo Game Boy, first generation, which, yeah, as you can see, is not in new condition. So what I'm gonna be doing is modding it. Yes, modding it. So, first thing, is going to take out these batteries, of course. Don't know why the seller put them there. And uh, yeah, I guess mod it. So I'm going to take out the motherboard out of this thing and put it into this thing. Because, I mean, there's a screen here, everything is here. I only need the motherboard. And um, yeah, someone has already bought this Game Boy because uh, yeah, I mean, I mod them for a living, which is a uh, fun life actually. So yeah, let's just take these six screws out. I think this is actually the first version because this, these screws are pluses and not uh, triangles, which uh, I think they are on the newer version. Yeah, yeah, on the newer versions. Because the plate loud colors are also, I think it's plate loud colors, which came like some years later. Uh, they have the triangle screws. So, Let's just get those open. That is open. Come on, there we go. And two more screws. That is going to be a beautiful Game Boy. Boom. Take the back off. Whoop. Take that out. And I'll take the motherboard out. That's all I'm going to need. Wait, someone has already been in here before? Let me have a good look. Yeah, actually, because someone has missed the screw a couple of times, which is uh, interesting. Hopefully it's not the factory. That would be funny, actually, if the factory made a mistake like that. Like, how do you miss a screw? That just removes the solder mask, it's not important at all so yeah let me just give this thing a blow i would usually give it a clean too but no need and uh, i don't really have the isopropyl alcohol and toothbrush on me right now so it's going to live without a clean so yeah oh there's a plastic lens here too but uh Okay, so you know what? Let's just assemble the screen. So first things first, what should I put this on? So the screen doesn't, there we go. Put in these. Let's see here. It even comes with the cover. Now let's put these two aside so I don't forget them. I think this customer also bought some buttons, if I remember correctly. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to double check that. Let's sit with Game Boy Advance SP buttons. Or was it someone else? Oh no, no, it was someone else. Never mind. Not this one. But uh, he also wanted a modded Game Boy. Boom. Now for the screen. Let's see here. Note, place the bracket in front of the shell first, otherwise it may damage the wheels on the big PCB. Oh, that's interesting. I thought I was there to hold the screen and not kill the screen, but uh, I guess that's a reason too. So here we have some tape, which I will not be using. Right? Yeah, this is the tape, which is completely useless. Oh, there's actually some rubber in the way. You know, I just got to remove that like that. Right? It's supposed to be like this. Yeah, 100%. Now take this out. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Yeah, that's the new speaker, which looks like an original speaker. Now plug this out. Plug this in. 
and close it up. Boom. Now, how do I do this? Let's see here. So I do it like this. Right? Or was it supposed to be the other way? No. No, it can't be. Now this is interesting. How the hell is this supposed to be? Because how in the hell am I supposed to put it on? Like what? Let's think here. Okay, if I unlock this first. Boom. Take this out. So I'm guessing the screen goes first, right? What screen is this? Is this a... In a way, this is a DS first generation screen. Or am I mistaken? Let's see here. So if this goes like this. And take this off. Put it on here like this. Boom. Now put this on here. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? That just fell off. Okay, you know what? Let me just try to figure that out. That is not supposed to be like that. All right, so I guess I got scammed on AliExpress again, um, but um, at least I got it into place, right? Oh, it doesn't want to move in now, which is interesting. Yeah, you know what? I'll take a look when uh, when I've gotten it together. So yeah, and AliExpress, of course, they don't give a fuck. I'll just. Uh, yeah, they'll just ask me to return it, and returning to China with shipping and uh, with tracking uh, costs way over like $40 here from here in Norway. And uh, that's what the screen costs. So, uh, of course, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but uh, it is how it is. That's what happens when you buy from AliExpress, I guess. So let's press this in. Boom. Now, put in all of the screws. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to clean this off. That's... Oh. That's gonna do the job. And now... Put in all of the new screws, which I have right here. I'm just gonna put them in here because I'm doing this on a carpet for the video. Boom. Now let's see here. Where are the? There they are. There we go. Not let's zoom in a little. Nope, not that much. You know what? This is fine. <sighs> nope, that's not the right screw. This is the right screw. Yeah, I mean, all I'll say is be really careful when buying something from AliExpress. This is... Yeah, this happens really often, trust me. Something comes defective, you think you actually have the right to open a dispute, and uh, guess what? You don't. They don't care. That they'll just make you tr try to make you return it. But of course, shipping is extremely expensive, and they say they will pay for shipping. And when you try to mention shipping to the seller... He's like, what? What are you? What are you talking about? What? He doesn't care. Of course, he doesn't care. One bad re review, of course. Why does he care? He gets those fake reviews. So, 
That's just what happens sometimes. It's better to buy just straight from... Yeah, actually, it's better just buy straight from uh, Funny Playing. But it's banned here in Norway. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, the ship it, or the payment companies have uh, blocked it. Because, uh, yeah, good question. Actually, why haven't they blocked, like, AliExpress? That would make way more sense. Way more. You know what? Might actually start buying these from Temu if they even sell them. Because on Temu, if you, like, don't get anything, you can just cancel it. And uh, done. Yeah. While on AliExpress, you, you, try to, you can't cancel it. You can't cancel it. Ship the product back. Yeah, that's right. Pay $50 for a twenty, twenty dollar, two dollar, whatever dollar item. It's not fun. You know what, I'll actually try to see if they sell it on Temu. It'd be much better, much happier. We'll see what I'll do with the Maybe just needs a good clean because I tried gluing it in first time, but then I removed the glue. Maybe I didn't remove all of it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll try to figure something out off camera. All I know is that I can't sell it like this. Maybe the screen didn't have modes. Wait, I never checked actually. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Well, these solder joints are on, at least. Oh, wait, how does this screen go? Wait. Now I need to use my brain. Now I need to use my monkey brain. Yeah, so it goes like this. Or is it double-sided so it doesn't matter? I don't know. Okay. Now I need to push it in here. The cable, of course, which is going to be a little challenging. Hmm. There we go. Let's put in the batteries and see if the screen is defective too or if or if I actually did not get scammed, just partially scammed because I mean that would be interesting. Oh. Screen works. Yeah, I mean there's only one mode though. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But, um, yeah, I guess that's how it's going to be. Can't really do anything about that. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just give the clean, the screen a clean, and uh, I'll be right back. And boom! So, a little into the future. Uh, I got on the lens after cleaning the screen. I couldn't just clean the screen without applying it. But uh, yeah, applied that, got the, I actually had a little problems with this wheel, but uh, I managed to figure it out in the end, because it is a little weird, but uh, yeah, I mean, it works. I was able to figure it out in the end, as I said. Let me just go back to the first one. Yeah, brightness, everything works. And I just pressed on number two. So yeah, Pokemon Blue. Wow, looks beautiful, right? Oh, and the save file actually still works on this thing. Cool. After so many years. But yeah, got the covers on, got the cover on, got the screws in, 
Looks like a beautiful Game Boy if you ask me. Wow. But there is no glass lens. I actually thought there was going to be a glass lens, but uh, I guess not. There's actually one more thing. If you hold this thing, boom, there comes up a menu. So you can actually have like battery display on, boom, and you can have the battery display on, which is really cool. FRM, what is FRM? No clue. Frame rate monitor? Is that what it means? Wait. Wait. Can I see the frame rate? No freaking way. Is it gonna be here? What? No, there is no frame rate monitor. Maybe it means something else. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's done. It's a really beautiful Game Boy now. And uh, I'm really proud of making it. Looks really beautiful. The sound is a little weird. If you just leave it without any sound, it looks really weird, but uh, or it makes weird sounds. Okay, not now. Maybe without the game, it was making some weird sounds. But yeah, it's done. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.